Uh, my name's Tay Smith. I'm 16 years old and I'm from Northeast Kansas. I've been fishing for about 13 years now, so I have 13 years of experience and I'm gonna try to show you guys some tips and some methods I use to set the hook on bass and how to get them to bite and cast placement and all this. Uh, this video is to help you guys out if you're having trouble with any of these. I've only been bass fishing for about 10 years, but I uh, have learned that cast placement is the biggest thing. If you're casting out in the middle of a pond where it's 15 foot deep, you aren't that likely to catch a big bass. Now at farm ponds, it might be different on lakes, but at farm ponds, it helps about mm, 10 feet out is about where I get the majority of my bites. Um, in the pockets of the moss, that's where you normally get them. These, there's weeds, it's not really moss here, it's kind of weeds laying on the water. If there's like any openings in it, I stop my frog there and I kind of give it a little bit of jig and they normally like the pause here. They've liked the pause this year. In the past, you might have a steady reel and they kind of like that, but the pause is a big key for so me this year. I have trouble setting the hook on a topwater frog and I can see why. I've taken some of my friends that aren't that experienced, even my girlfriend, they get too excited. Right when that thing hits the frog or anything you're throwing on top of water, hula popper, anything. When they come up and hit that, your first instinct is to jerk. Now that works sometimes, but if they miss it, they're, I mean, it's gone. But if they, right when they bite it on mine, I wait, and then if I see my line starting to tighten up, I reel up and I jerk. If you don't wait, I mean, you have a chance of hooking him, but if you reel up and feel that tension on your line and build your jerk up and you yank back as hard as you can, I will bet you 75% of the time you'll have that bass on there. Another thing that I've noticed is uh, every time I cast and one comes up to get it, bass are very aggressive. So if he misses it, you just keep on reeling, maybe stop and do a little bit of pop, get him his, get his aggression back up. Um, not all the time, but uh, I'd say about 50-50, he might come back to it. And when he does, I guarantee he's gonna get it that time. Okay, this tip plays a very important role. Now it's about four o'clock here, bass are gonna start feeding. They like feeding in the evenings and in the mornings. Anywhere from six o'clock in the morning to 10 and anywhere from four to eight. You can, don't get me wrong, you can still get bites in the midday, but if you wanna get your big boy on your line, evenings or morning are gonna be the key. Okay guys, here we go. As you can see, I'm just reeling it really slow. An often mistake by uh, beginners is they reel way too fast. You gotta give him time to get there if he's not there and sometimes they gotta think for a little bit, you never know. Oh, he missed that guys. Don't do that. Do not do that. Okay, remember when I said don't jerk unless he's got it? I'll be honest with you, sometimes I get excited. Okay guys, I told you an hour. I only had, I only fished this for 15 minutes. So I'm gonna go hit the cove. I'm gonna drive back in there. I got a little bit of time before I have to go up and the cove is a really calm, well, a cove is like a big creek that arms off, I guess, up into a pond. So mainly like the feet, the creek is spring fed. So that's what keeps this pond running. All the ponds in Kansas are super low right now. It's actually very devastating because one of my best ponds dried up. So we're gonna go back in the cove, throw this topwater frog for about five minutes is all. And I'm gonna go up there and I'll be back with you after I get done eating. Hopefully I'll be back with you before that so you can see the big bass. Right here. Oh. Alright guys, there he is. He's swimming towards me. He's a big one. There he goes. I got him out of there. Right there. Oh, he's not he's not big, but hey. Okay guys. Fish. Here you go. Got a fish. I uh out at the main pond it's kind of sunny, so I don't know if I I'm sure after the cookout I can come back down. I'm gonna catch a couple. But I came back here in the cove here. I caught him right over there. Right down through that gap in between that tree in the water and the side of the bank here. And I mean, he killed it. I thought he was much bigger than he is, but still, that's a good fish right there. He's probably, uh, he's only a pound, but gosh, you gotta love topwater. And how I caught him is, 
I just reeled slowly on the moss. I was getting ready to jig it, and he killed it. So, uh, there okay, you go. Hey guys, I just got done eating. It's a little bit later now. The wind actually started to pick up, so I don't know. We might get a couple, but I'm hoping I get some good footage for you guys so you can see my techniques. Here and also, just because you don't get to buy it on that first cast, doesn't mean he's not there. Just gonna try to make a much commotion. Guys, that could be a good fish there. A lot of moss there. Is he in there? He's in there, boys. That is a good fish, too. That is a good fish. Do the math on that. That cast probably took me 30 seconds to get in. I just sat there and I just jigged it across the moss, and apparently he wanted it because I mean he killed. Unfortunately tonight I did not catch a lot. But I, after this video, there is going to be some other clips of some top water, maybe, I think two or three, not very many. But if you did enjoy this, and if this did help you at all, please like and subscribe, because there's going to be some good videos coming up. I get out of school in five days, and there's going to be videos up every other day. So give me a subscribe and a like. He's not big at all. But hey, there you go.